Bruce Glass V here, back with another GCSS Army helpful video. And today we're on part seven of our uh, AA series. And today we're going to actually create a personal or a personnel substitution. All right, so if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And without further ado, let me share my screen. Let's jump into GCSS Army. All right, so as you see, we're still operating under our workbench ZAMW. All right. So all we're going to do here is going to click create substitutions. Hold on, let me refresh here. So anyway, substitution. OK, so if you haven't had a chance, go back and watch the previous video where we talk about some of the rules um, that govern substitution and what you can and cannot do. All right. All right, so from here. You're going to go into create substitutions. All right, so. This allows you to temporarily. Um, make or take personnel into a certain position, you know, that normally do not hold that position. OK, no transfer is required uh, for this, yet the substitution can access GCS Army if holding both positions. All right, so your substitutions are always going to default to at least 30 days. Now, if you watch the previous video, you can do a max of 365. If it does create a, uh, a segregation of duties uh, conflict, it's only good for 72 hours. And after 72 hours, you have to get approval. All right. So we'll just keep that in mind. So to do this, all you're going to do. So if you watch one of the first videos about pulling the uh, position structure reports, you'll be able to know what position you need and the personnel number and how to find it. All right. So keep that in mind. So the personnel number, you'll enter the personnel number. You enter the position. And how many days? So the commander is authorized this for 60 days. All right. So once you get here, um, like I said, just review, make sure you got the proper personnel, the position, the duration, and then all you're going to do is you're going to hit enter. And down here at the bottom, it'll say entry OK. OK, so that does not create any conflict and you are good to go. And all really all you're going to do from here is you're going to hit save. Hit back and then you have successfully created a substitution um, in GCSS Army. So I hope this video was helpful. Like I said, this video was pretty easy. Um, just to recap, OK, like a, like you will see a uh, email every time you create a substitution through your um, your workbench um, notification that the user's account or whatever has uh, been updated. All right. So like I said, when it comes to substitutions, um, you will also see an email. I believe it's 15 days prior to the substitution's expiration. OK, so you'll see a workflow item in your SAP business uh, inbox. All right. Now, like I said you you will you can extend up to 365 days. It ends immediate or you can take no action. Um, yeah, so I hope this video was helpful. Um, like I said, we're. About a quarter way through our series of videos for the access administrator. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, see you in the next video and go ordinance.